Hey, what's up everybody? As you can see, I've got a bit, bit of a gash. Bit of a gash, bit of a, a battle wound from camping. I uh, ran into the window of the truck. Um, but I'm, I'm good, I'm good, and I'm ready for something very exciting. Um, one of the cool fisheries around here is something that's land-based. And what I'm about to do is go shark fishing from the beach. Now this is something that I've done before. When I used to come down with my grandparents, we did shark fishing uh, off the beach. Same deal, run the baits out with a kayak. Today I'm going with Rip McClendon of land-based family shark fishing. And he, uh, he does this, this is his deal. He does it from shore, he does it with the kayaks, runs these big baits out. We're gonna get right into it. I'm driving right now to the spot where we meet up. He fishes all along the panhandle, um, but today he's coming to Panama City Beach, and I could not be more excited. So we'll catch you on the beach, and we'll see you later. Peace. 330 second cable. Okay. From the 330 second cable, makes a transition to an 800 pound monofilament. And that's just a homemade anchor. So that your bait's not blowing around. So it ain't blowing around. Right. Just bait's, bait's heavy enough to take it to the bottom. Once we get it to the bottom, yep. we lock it in. But it goes from the 800 pound monofilament. I run a rattle on the short drop and a rattle on the long drop. That's a cow nose ray wing, big okay. sting ray wing. Um, we're gonna run a cow nose ray. Right here we got a bonita. Gonna run a whole bonita. Same thing, 20 aught circle hook, same gear. This would be dropped a little shallow. Yeah. And you know, everybody asked me, why in the heck is your leader so long? Right where we're sitting, I've caught sharks 14 foot. You know what I'm saying? So you think about it, if it's properly hooked yep. in the jaw, his tail's down here ripping. You know what I'm saying? So we want to keep him from a main line, and that's why I run such a long leader. You know, if he rolls one time, we got a good shot at getting him. Right. Yeah, on the small reels, it goes to 130-pound monofilament, and then 130-pound braids under it. The big reels okay. is 180-pound monofilament, 200-pound braid on the bottom of them, and it's just for abrasion, you know, because we got to get it over that second sandbar so you yes. get a little thicker line. You know, truth be known, if we didn't have the sandbars and stuff, we could come out here with small reels you know smaller tackle yeah uh, but we need the line capacity so uh on this one here is a spinner shark that we've caught recently just a chunk of spinner shark big chunk they eat each other uh, last piece i run out a couple weeks ago mako ate you just never know wow on this drop it's the head to that stingray <laughs> oh my eyes on each side it's the head to that stingray. Wow. These are fresh rays. I snatched them in the surf just three days ago. They hadn't even had time to freeze completely. Really? So, you know what I usually do if I'm like looking for them? I'll just come out here and kind of walk the beach, see how clear the water is. Yeah. And you'll see them, and I got a weighted treble hook. <whistles> Snatch them. Oh. Or go sit on the pier and just sit and wait. You'll see a cloud coming. I've seen them out there. Yeah, yeah. just throw, throw you a snatch hook in the middle, treble hook, snatch them. No em. way. You can walk off the pier with 100 pounds with your regular fishing lines. That's a lot of bait. So I try to go out there wow. pretty regularly, you know, because starting March 1st all the way to October, man, I'll use 1,000 pounds a month. Right. You know, 160 trips out there. Yep, yep. But uh, that'll work, man. We'll get everything. Wow. You got your chair? Yeah, I do. I got my stuff in the truck. I'm going to go get it. Say that to yourself, lady me, lady me, because you're gonna want to set the hook if right. it's against everything you've ever learned about fishing. What do you mean, lady me? Set the hook, but it's gonna sound like that. Get to it as quick as you can. Try it. guys 
Rip from Family Land Bay Shark Fishing, Panama City Beach, Florida. Uh, we're out here tonight chasing Jaws. Everybody wants to see Jaws, wants to be with Jaws. Uh, we're here, we got some big baits out tonight. We got some Bonita. We're running uh, some Calno Stingray, Spinner Shark. It's definitely a big fish hunt. Uh, our baits kind of eliminate the fishing and now we're hunting something with a mouth big enough to eat it. Uh, we don't even consider this fishing in the end. It's a hunt. It's a hunt. I've been shark fishing all my life. I've been running guided trips probably 14 years. Mm -hmm. Just uh, squeezed it in, you know, years ago. Uh, but yeah, I seem to be the oldest one on the beach around here. All the young guys, you know, fighting the waves, paddling, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm maybe me and one other guy in the area, you know. The goat, yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. We, if it's happened, shark fishing, we, you know, we've seen it. You know.